What's up everybody, I'm Alex Knight and this is more of Undertale. And in the last episode, we headed back to Alfie's lab and we found ourselves in a very strange place that Alfie's has actually been working on in secret. And we're finding more and more about Asgore and Toriel's past life. As well as learning more about Asriel, which I which I'm thinking. Which I'm thinking is flowy. Or flowy? Flowy, flowy, I don't care. And now. We are committed to get this done. So right now we need to find three switches and three keys in order to be able to continue on. <clears throat> DT extraction machine status inactive. Determination extraction machine. That is such a weird fucking thing you built there, Alfie's. Entry number 19. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. I saw that! You can't tell me I didn't see that! I saw that food trader move. Entry number 20. Asko left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this QT cup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asko. Let's go ahead and open it. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. What? I don't buy that. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. There's something in there. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Aww. Poor Alfie's. Hi! It's so cold. Amalgamite. Amalgamite. Attack, negative 12. Defense, negative 5. It seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. Oh, this is a weird... This is a weird thing. Do I give it a joke? I told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha ha ha. I remember. Yes, remember. Remember who you are. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. Smells like salty slush. Total bad pun. Okay, the music's changing. Alright, tell another joke. Total bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. There's the blue key. I found it. Alright, here we go. And what's this one? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Alright, here we go. Put in the green key. And now we just need... I know you're in there! You can't tell me that you're not! Can't tell me that you're not empty. Whatever, fine. Who needs you anyways? Some kind of yellow color key. Oh yeah, the blue key. Okay. So I'm trying to find my way around. I already got the key that was in there. And I already got the key that was already to the right, I think. Or at least I... Actually, is there a key over here? It doesn't seem like there's a key around here. Switch doesn't do anything. There's nothing here. Nothing on the ground here. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. We'll just keep on going. 
And I think we have to go all the way back to the right, where the bedroom is. Oh my goodness. This is all creepy. Alright, the blue key's fitted. Now all that's left is, I believe, the yellow key. How do I find it? Golden flowers. Golden flowers. of dog food. It's an empty dog bowl. And I have to go this way. See what there is. Alright, so we are missing the yellow key. Elevator, lost power. But how do I get it? <clears throat> what if I go this way? Is there something here? these dressers around here. We've already activated the red door. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. I'm trying to press everything I can to see if I can find the last key. What if the last key is actually with that one ghost that was trying to, you know, have me have me sleep? Maybe that's what it is. Let's try it again. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Hmm, didn't work again. All right, hello, Mr. Ghost. Need someone to tuck you in? Reach out and touch me. Ah, what? Hmm. I can't imagine there being anything else for me to do. Uh, am I missing something? That feels like it's a puzzle. I already got the one that was in there. Behind the curtains. What did this one say? Under the sheets. Oh, under the sheets! So I actually have to be under the sheets or something like that. Alright, so it's under the sheets. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. Here. Nothing. Oh, there's something under the sheets. Aha! Yes, the yellow key is mine. Goodbye. All right, let's head back to where the yellow key is, and we'll be able to progress with this story. And click. Yellow key is in. That should be all of the keys. Now we can access the elevator. And find out the truth from Alfie's just what exactly she was doing. I mean, we got a pretty vague idea of what she actually is doing. But I would like to know just, like, the finer points of it all. Saving. We're at the elevator. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Well, I guess we'll have to go to the left then. It seems to be turned off. There's nothing else. Ooh, it's all quiet. Oh, I don't like 
this. Alfies? Alfies? Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Because we have to say yes. Oh. Hi, friends. Have you all heard about the Book of Mormon? Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Come on, Alfies. Tell me the truth. What's going on? Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgord asked me to study the nature of souls. <coughs> During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what they, what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... <clears throat> now, I've changed my mind about all this. Come on, Alfies. You know you can do it. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on? Aw, oh, Alfie's. <clears throat> I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Aw, oh, Alfie's. Power's been turned on. Well, let's head to the elevator, then. What? What are you? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asko yet. Because I wanted to, because I, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's flowy. Ring.
It's a voice you have never heard before. Alex? Are you... Ooh, what do I get this mysterious voice? Alex? Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Alex? See you soon. What the fuck? Oh, what did I just do? The door is jammed shut with vines. Oh my god. Wait. Where's my... Hello? Anybody? Everything's fallen into place? Where is everyone? It's a golden flower. It's Asgore's home. The box is empty. What is going on? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just not going straight to Asgore right now. But... I wanted to see what else was going on around here. But there's nothing else. Oh. Oh, it's so quiet. It's so quiet, I don't like it. I don't like that it's quiet. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, please have something happen! The whole castle town is all so weird. It's all so weird! But it looks like I can't turn back. Oh, it's so quiet. There's nothing here. Hello? Hmm. 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 Oh. This is the throne room. Or, it's almost there to the throne room. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is going on in this game? It's my coffin. There's a name engraved on it. It's Alex. There's all the souls. <clears throat> uh... It's the throne room next. There's sound now. It's a throne. Here's the garden. And this is where I started. Or one of the places where I started. The end. Well, this is it, guys. I guess we're facing off against Asgore once again? Hi there, Asgore. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If 
If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I mean, it's kind of already too late for that. We're going to have to go ahead and continue. I see. Should I give him a Liam Neeson kind of voice? This is it, then. Ready? Oh, come on, Asgore. Are you making me fight you again? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with... Determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What the? Ah! What? Who? Toriel! What a miserable creature. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. Oh, go, Mom! Please give me my butterscotch pie! It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Of course he does. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Oh, man! A goat mom is the great mom! creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Nigga! Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh... Yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Oh my god, everyone's coming here! Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Torio. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. <laughs> Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human, did Asgore shave and clone himself? And there's Sans. Hey, guys. What's up? That voice! Hello. I think we may know each other. 
Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. It's so nice to meet you. Name Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Or, no, <laughs> no. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Waluigi. Wowie. I cannot believe Asgore's clown knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What is a skeleton tiled his roof with? Hmm. Snowproof. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, everyone's all so happy. Asgore's crying. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, As yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh... Stop going after furry boss character monsters and, uh, to just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. <coughs> well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Well, you two just smooch already! The audience is dying for some romantic action. And let me know that is. That. That is Metaton. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? Uh. Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess. If you want to. Then. Don't hold anything back! Oh my goodness, they are kissing! Wait! Not in front of the human! Oh, come on! I've seen worse! Uh, right. So sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> my child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Uh. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you... How did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Oh no! <gasps> no! You idiots! Well, you guys were having your little powwow. I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. You just don't know when to fucking quit, asshole! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Yeah, I mean, you lost to me multiple times before. You should really understand when to quit. Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. 
I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You... I'll keep you here, no matter what. What? No! I'm trapped! Even if it means killing you one million times. God damn it! No, this is not even fair! Stop that! God damn it! No! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh, I'm getting healed! That's right, human! You could win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Oh, I'm getting healed! Hey, human! If you cut past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Oh, never beat this guy yet. Come on, this riddle's got nothing on you. You're damn straight! No, stop it. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh yeah, we're with you too! Come on, you got this! Ah, blah, blah. You've got to win! You can do it! Wait a bit! Mm. Yeah. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! What? I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! No! No! Damn you, Flowey! Ezreal? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Oh my god. It's him. And we'll be able to find this out in the next episode of Undertale. The true finale.